Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. This is a weekly reading for the sign of Gemini for December 3rd to the 9th. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, we are using this week the Other Kin Tarot. I'm going to clarify with the Tarot of Trees and the oracles that we're using for this week are Believe in Your Own Magic and The Super Attractor. So let's see what we've got going on. Gemini. I hope you're having a great week and I want to say thank you um, for all of the likes, shares, subscribes, and all of the comments that I've been getting. I love interacting with all of you. Please keep those comments coming. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Let's see what we've got going on here. Starting off with the Ace of Wands. Wow, fiery, passionate, new beginning, right? Let's see what we've got going on here. We did just have the full moon in Gemini, which is about uh, new beginnings. Um, Creative new adventures, communication. Let's see what we've got going on here. Gemini. Gemini. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> New beginning in your uh, worldly environment, right? In the world around you. Very passionate new beginning. New beginnings in the world around you. Hmm. Maybe a new job offer. Maybe a new home. Uh, Pentacles is um, earth energy which has everything to do with our um, 3D experience here in this earth world. So it's, you know, anything in our material world that we can fe feel, hear, touch, right? Hmm. Page of Wands, Justice, hmm. New Passionate Beginnings, Messages of New Passionate Beginnings, Fairness, Balance, Let's see what else we've got going on, Gemini. These are beautiful cards. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Justice in your favor to receive your legacy wealth. The ending of a uh, Mentally challenging cycle with the Ten of Swords. Um, the Four of Pentacles. Solid foundations in your um, in your world, in your material environment. Let's get one more for Gemini, please. Two of Cups, the Soulmate card, Partnership. Um, I don't get, I don't get Soulmate though. I get, I do get Partnership, but I think this is more like you're falling in love with yourself because as you know, 
You can't truly love others unless you truly love yourself first, right? You can't fill others' cups unless your cup is full first. So let's talk about this. <clears throat> got two aces, ace of wands, ace of pentacles, page of wands, justice, ten of pentacles, ten of swords, four of pentacles, two of cups. Ones might be significant to you if you see ones jumping out at you um, throughout the week. Uh, take a beat. Uh, listen to your intuition, uh, your intuitive nudges that maybe spirit trying to either steer your steer you towards something <clears throat> or away from something um you're going to need to use your your intuitive nudges to determine that for yourself right so this is fiery and passionate new beginnings in your material world um that are inspirational. This is intuition. This is a new spark of intuition, a new spark of uh, energy, a uh, new, oh, okay. A new passionate uh, beginning at something, learning something new. Maybe uh, you might even be um, inspired to, those came out quick. You might even be inspired to um, learn something new that you've been passionate about, but you haven't necessarily taken the actions to um, to learn about. But it could bring you monetary gain if you choose to study that, whatever that creative nudge is, right? Taking action is important um, to... Uh, create that fairness and that balance towards your um, your personal happily ever after. The um, Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate happily ever after card. This is the Legacy Wealth card. This is um, the end of um, the the end of uh, any kind of cycle that you have been going through in your material world and a beginning of a new one, right? This is finally reaching your happily ever after, your contentment, your peace and harmony, your good family life, your uh, balanced and wonderful, abundant material life. The uh, Ten of Swords is the end of a mentally challenging cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, right? Um, standing in your own truth. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is about, um, it could be on the negative aspect, holding on too tightly to, um, to things that are no longer serving you, but you're too afraid to let them go. But it also speaks to um, solid foundations in your material world. And I think that that's, that's the way I'm going with this, with how I'm feeling about these cards, um, simply because of the fact that the Two of Cups is right next to it, right? Um, we have the ending of a mentally challenging time that could have been stressful in your material world, right? Could have been um, stressing out your home life, your work life, what, you know, the world around you, um, the environment around you. Uh, and then it's, on the other side is this Two of Cups, the soulmate card, the partnership, the um, uh, emotionally balanced, because, uh, you know, twos are about balance, right? Um, cups, water, a rule over emotion. So this is emotional balance, right? Um, being able to look at your world um, from a new perspective, having this passionate, fiery new beginning um, that's going to affect your material world, right? It's going to help you earn promotion. Maybe you're getting a certificate for something or um, uh, doing some sort of continued education 
to um, help you to get uh, promoted or a new job that pays more or start your business in a way that you would like. Clarifying the five or the ace of wands is the five of wands. And so this is practice. You're practicing something that you're, is a new passion for you, right? Um, practicing uh, to master that skill, right? That speaks to this page of wands as well, right? Because um, pages are the students, right? The children of the court cards, they're the students and they're the messengers, right? So this is, listen to your intuitive nudges. If there's something that you're passionate about and you've always wanted to learn more about, this may be the time to look into um, educating yourself further on that subject, right? Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Swords and the Lovers. Wow. So this is um, making an educated, difficult decision. And the Lovers is um, about making the choice to open yourself up to new experiences, love, uh, reciprocal um, emotions, right? Um, new, a, a expanding, opening your, making the choice to open yourself up to expanding your world, right? Wow. This is going to end, end up very prosperous for you. I'll tell you that. This is Page of Wands about, please. a lot of cards. Let's see what we got here. So the page of wands clarified by the seven of wands standing your ground. King of pentacles, the richest king, right? Um, financially stable, financial stability. Four of wands, um, stability in your intuition, your imagination, your creativity. Um, it's also the marriage card and it is also the 1111 portal. It's also about um, welcoming some someone new into your soul tribe or into your family, right? This is uh, finding a solid foundation in your creative endeavors, right? And the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is showing up twice, right? So the when the cards show up, same when the same card shows up twice, that tells me that spirit saying, I said what I meant and I meant what I said, pay attention to the messages um, that that card brings, right? And this is, aces are a um, gift from the divine. This is um, a fiery, passionate new beginning. Um, you'll have those intuitive nudges and you need to follow those new uh, you need to follow those intuitive nudges. It will help you to find that um, mature, uh, stable foundation that you are looking for within your creativity. Stand your ground. Uh, be confident in your, uh, in your belief systems, in your accomplishments, in the things you're capable of, in your dreams and ambitions. What is this justice card, please? Justice card. All right. Oh, justice card. <laughs> Speaking of happily ever afters, this is the emotional aspect of a happily, happily ever after, right? Ten of cups clarifying the justice. You are going for your happily ever after. You are first becoming emotionally content, emotionally grateful for what you do have, and... Um, loving and appreciating yourself, loving and appreciating others, treating yourself with the kindness that you expect others to uh, give you and treating others with the kindness that you're expecting others to give you, right? This is Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be successful in, in finding this happily ever after, right? All right. 
Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This is, it's really important for you to release the things that are overwhelming you, that are burdening you, that are weighing you down, causing you stress and difficulty um, so that you can find balance in your material world to be able to take those classes or educate yourself or master a skill that will help you to um, follow the path to your happily ever after. This is 10. Okay, so the 10 of swords clarified by the moon and the six of swords. Okay, so the 10 of swords, um, the moon is about taking a deep dive within. You have all of the answers from within. Uh, making friends with your inner monsters, finding the light from from your within the darkness within yourself and bringing that light out into the world so that you could follow that moonlit path and move on from um, all of the chaos and um, heartache and mind manipulation and moving on to calmer waters that will help you to um, create that um, calmness and that harmony and, and the wonderful happily ever after that um, you imagine your personal happily ever after being, right? And that may include leaving some people behind. Maybe some people that you don't want to release that you might be holding on to um, unnecessarily or too tightly, but you need to move on from it, right? Let's see what we've got for the Four of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> yes, Gemini. Um, the Empress clarifying the Four of Pentacles. In order for you to have solid foundations in your material world, you must first take care of yourself. You must weed your own garden. You must do your inner work. You must love yourself first. Nurture yourself first. Feed yourself first. Your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. In order for you to gain that stability in the world around you. Mm. Okay, so this partnership is with yourself. Um, King of Swords, clarifying the Two of Cups. This is the masculine um, energy of truth, honesty, integrity, um, logic, right? Getting out of the, on the negative aspect, mind manipulation aspect of it. Anybody who is in your life that is perhaps making you feel less than, um, they don't deserve to, to continue on your journey with you. Those are the ones that you need to cut out and walk away from or sail away from, right? Um, the King of Swords is um, the one who is strategic. He is good counsel. He is mindful. Finding that good counsel, partnership, partnering up with that good counsel to be able to find your way to get to that happily ever after. What a wonderful, what a wonderful reading. Let's see. Let me get my spectacles on here. What do we have for the super attractors? So we have wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. Don't hold others back because you're holding on too tightly to them, trying to keep them into your, in your life. They, they need to go on their own journeys. You need to let them go. It's good to feel good. You need to feel good about yourself. You need to have that, that, um, that self-care and that self-love. And <clears throat> spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Number 43. Let's find out. 43. Okay. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. <clears throat> 
you've been made to believe that your voice, that your unique point of view in this world isn't worth very much. Let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Your words are worth all the stars in the night sky. So don't forget to sing whenever you have the chance. Your voice is powerful enough to sink a dozen spaceships. That is so true, Gemini. So very, very true. And Gemini being the great communicators that you are. Beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. I love how these tie together so nicely. Um, I hope that something in this is saying to you. If it didn't, leave it be. Maybe check the readings for the other placements in your natal chart. Um, I want to say thank you for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, and especially your comments. Interacting with you really makes my day and it makes me feel closer to you, my soul tribe. So please keep those comments coming. Um, I do truly appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you on the next video.